The next intermolecular attractive force is called dipole-dipole or dipolar attractive force. If the molecule is polar, in addition to London dispersion forces, it will also have this dipole-dipole attraction. So for example, in hydrogen chloride, chlorine is more electronegative, which makes the hydrogen end of the molecule positive and the chlorine end negative. So if another hydrogen chloride molecule was nearby, it would align itself so that its positive hydrogen would be close to the negative chlorine and its negative chlorine would be closer to it to the other molecules positive hydrogen this is very similar to dispersion forces however it's stronger than dispersion forces because the molecule has a permanent dipole that this is not caused by random motion of electrons this is caused by the polarity of the molecule itself A third intermolecular attractive force is a special type of dipolar interaction, which is called hydrogen bonding. However, the word hydrogen bonding is misleading because this is not a bond. A bond is the permanent connection between atoms that make up a molecule. Hydrogen bonding requires one of three elements, nitrogen, oxygen, or fluorine, bonded directly to a hydrogen, and in addition it also requires that the nitrogen, oxygen, or fluorine contains a lone pair. So here are two ammonia molecules. Ammonia would have London dispersion forces because everything has London forces. It's a polar molecule, so it has dipole-dipole interaction but it also has nitrogen with a lone pair directly bonded to a hydrogen. That lone pair is negatively charged. It's attracted to the positive hydrogen. Hydrogen is positive because of the electronegativity difference compared to nitrogen. So this is the hydrogen bonding in between two separate NH3 molecules. This is the strongest out of all three intermolecular attractive forces. But notice, if you have the ammonium cation, you have the nitrogen directly bonded to a hydrogen. However, that lone pair doesn't exist, so NH4 plus cannot have hydrogen bonding. And in summary, a nonpolar molecule only has dispersion forces, and those dispersion forces are proportional to the molar mass. The shape of the molecule also influences how strong the attractive forces are. If the molecule is polar, in addition to dispersion, it will also have dipole-dipole, and it could also have hydrogen bonding if you have one of these three conditions. The stronger the attractive force, the higher the boiling point. The liquid molecules are more strongly attracted to each other, which lowers their vapor pressure and it increases their boiling point.